Roof in tune. catch and cook i know we haven't done one of these in a while for you guys but uh this should be a good one super easy super simple gave my dad this idea about a month ago and we haven't done it yet but we're gonna get to it uh we're, we don't have an official name for it yet we're just gonna call it pokey appetizers also in today's video we'll be having my good buddy chad here oh what's up he is one of my lifelong friends that recently discovered a love for fishing literally about two weeks ago no it was like it was like three <laughs> three weeks ago i've been doing this forever as long as he's known me i've been into fishing and all of a sudden he's like wow dude this is so much fun i'm like you've realized i've done this the whole time you've known me right did they want to know how i got into it no so <laughs> you're gonna start seeing him in future videos here soon and uh today he's here to be a taste tester with us and I'll transfer the camera over to my dad and he's gonna run you guys through this. Hey guys, what's happening? Here's another episode of Cook Cooking with uh, Chef Eddie. Uh, haven't seen you guys in a while, you haven't seen me, but that was stupid. Hey guys, here's another episode of Cooking with Chef Eddie. Uh, I'm excited to try something new, something different. We don't have a name for it yet. Ray and I had some ingredients. We're like, let's see what we can do. So we're gonna make it and after we taste it, we'll try to figure out a name for it. Let me show you what we got. We got some nice, hefty bluefin tuna. We're gonna make it into pokey. We've made some pokey recipes before. I've got some started right here, but we're actually gonna just do a, a high overview of how we got to this point right here, put it all together. And the whole purpose of this recipe is to make it simple and make it easy where anybody can do it, even the camera guy. So uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a kick-ass uh, appetizer is what we're making. It's just a, a few ingredients and when you put it out there, the people will be blown away at how you did it. So let's kind of show you all of our ingredients. So we showed you the star, which is the bluefin here. And to that, our pokey ingredients, we got the soy sauce, our Newman's, our sesame oil, some sriracha. We're gonna have some Tostito chips. Ray sent me on a mission, he wanted me to find lime Tostito scoop chips. They don't exist, they exist in triangles. So we had to make some and what have you, and um, I just pulled them out of the oven. Don't know how they taste yet, but how we got to there was I got some Tostito scoops, the party size. Got some lime. Basically squeezed it on a cook on these chips with some tahini and baked them in the oven 350 for about four minutes. Pulled them out, and this is what we got. And then when they came out, I drizzled a little bit more fresh lime on top of it. Got some sushi rice. I don't care how you get your sushi rice, if you make it homemade, you buy the microwave stuff in the freezer section. They even have some box stuff that you can just boil and it's good to go. Get your sushi rice, this will be our filler. This is gonna go at the bottom and then we're gonna put the uh, pokey on top of it and drizzle it with some avocado. And then we might even hit it with some yum yum sauce at the end. So we're trying to figure out what we got here. Um, so let's get started and let's get to what we're gonna do. So what we wanna do is we wanna pull out the bag of rice, microwave, five minutes. Sticky white rice, get rid of the box. While that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and cut up some cucumber. First thing you wanna do, take a peeler, get rid of that skin, okay? See how that comes off and everything like that, okay? Next thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it in half. So once you cut it in half, you're left with this part right here. It's like a pickle, it's got this guts in here. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do, take the spoon, 
and we're just gonna scrape it out. Okay. We're gonna take this, turn it upside down, cut it in half, cut it on the side, turn it, cut it on the side, and then just give it a chop. Simple, easy. You know, you can do big chunks, you can do thin chunks. It's just a matter of what you want. Just make it super easy, cut it into strips, chop it up. One more strip. All right, so there's our cucumber. Push that off to the side. All right, so now we have our fish. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this bad boy right in half. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut it. Once you cut them into strips, then we're gonna cut them, turn them sideways, cut them into chunks. And you're making your pokey, so you can decide how thick you want your chunks. Oh, man, when people take bite of pokey, I want them to get a, a mouthful of fish. I want them to be full. I don't want them to have to ration it out. So for me, my chunks are pretty big. We add it to a bowl of chunked up fish already. And we're gonna repeat the process on this side here. So because I'm adding this to a pre-made, uh, something I've already kind of already had partially made, um, I'm gonna be a little bit skimpier on the ingredients because this will have enough on the other one that I'm adding to. Uh, but generally what I usually add is a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. A little heavier on the new mints because this has got your ginger and all the other ingredients that you need, the sesame, all the good stuff here. So we're gonna add that to it. We're gonna add your hot sesame oil. Okay, and again, you can decide how hot you want it, how uh, mild you want it, so be sparingly because we're gonna add some sriracha to it as well too. So I don't go as heavy on this because I'm gonna add some of the sriracha. Okay, let's just give it a nice stir. Because a cucumber is in its raw state, I'm gonna add, instead of adding salt, add a little bit of flavor. I might add a little garlic salt to it. So I'm adding it right to the fish. I'm just gonna put it right over. Pretty much go from north to south. Doesn't have to be overpowering. I'm just gonna add it to that. Let that cucumber soak it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add this fish to my other mixture here. I'm gonna go ahead and add our cucumber. Okay, this one, one chopped up cucumber, guts taken out. Got some green onion and some cilantro. We're gonna add that in there now. And that's three onions and three quarters of a bushel of cilantro that I used right there. Let's give this a good mix. All right guys, so we gave it a nice stir. I uh, got it all mixed up here, and uh, you can see we're ready to go. Got my sticky rice, again, that we microwave for five minutes. This will be our filling agent. We're gonna put the, a little spoon of it in each one of these chips with the, as a base. As you can see, I have my homemade lime Tostito scoop chips. Uh, now with a serving of a little bit of rice on each one of them as the base. Now we're gonna add some pokey. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna add it to the chip. Now we're gonna add it with some avocado. So just take your chopped up avocado and who am I kidding, okay? This is my show, my way. Let's just make it rain, drizzle it all <laughs> over. Make sure if there's, you know, you want to make sure everybody gets a good piece on there. But I got all this avocado. I don't want it to go to waste. Next thing we want to do is we want to add Serrano slices to the cups. And I'm going to be short on the Serranos. I did that by design because not everyone's going to like it hot. That's okay. Now we got a lot of green on there, okay? So I'm going to add some taco seasoning, a little drizzle, okay? 
a lot. Add a little bit there for flavor. And we got some yum yum sauce. And this is where we kind of want to look in a sec. These things look freaking bomb and I haven't even tried it yet. Um, so let's get at it. Let's get us some plates. All right guys, so there's a moment of truth. You got the uh, three amigos here. We're about to taste test this bad boy and see what we got. I'm going in. <laughs> You've heard me say this a million times. It's really good. <laughs> it really is. That's really good. Oh. So I already ate my burger. So the first, <laughs> so your first bluefin burger, how was it? It was amazing. Cheers. What can I say guys, those things are freaking bomb. And because they were the bomb, we're gonna call them pokey bombs. So easy, you guys can make them. You know, I haven't had a chance to really get in there on my bluefin tuna burger. Pair those with those bomb appetizers with the bomb ass bluefin burger. Can't go wrong, except you just need a skull beer. On that, we're gonna cheers out of here.